the deep sea, a realm of perpetual darkness and immense pressure, is home to creatures of extraordinary size. These are the deep sea giants, animals that dwarf their shallow water relatives. From colossal squid with eyes the size of dinner plates, to giant isopods that resemble oversized pill bugs, the deep sea is a testament to the remarkable diversity of life on Earth. What forces drive these creatures to such immense proportions? Scientists believe that several factors contribute to deep sea gigantism. One prominent theory is that the cold, stable temperatures of the deep sea slow down metabolism, allowing animals to grow larger over time. This, coupled with the abundance of prey in some deep sea environments, creates the perfect conditions for gigantism. The deep sea is a challenging environment to study. Its vastness and extreme conditions make exploration difficult and expensive. Yet the rewards are immense. By understanding the factors that drive deep sea gigantism, we gain valuable insights into the evolution of life on our planet. We must continue to explore and protect this unique and fragile ecosystem. The deep sea holds secrets yet to be unveiled, and the giants that inhabit it deserve our wonder and our protection. Kleiber's rule is a biological principle that states that an animal's metabolic rate scales to the three-quarter power of its body mass. In simpler terms, larger animals use energy more efficiently than smaller animals. This rule has been used to explain why some animals like elephants are so large. However, Kleiber's rule is not without its limitations. It does not hold true for all animals and is particularly problematic when applied to deep sea creatures. The extreme conditions of the deep sea such as high pressure and low temperatures can significantly alter metabolic rates. Furthermore, Kleiber's rule does not account for the unique physiological adaptations of deep sea animals. Many of these creatures have evolved unique ways to conserve energy, such as slow movement and reduced muscle mass. These adaptations allow them to thrive in environments where food is scarce. While Kleiber's rule provides a useful framework for understanding metabolism, it is essential to consider the specific environmental factors and physiological adaptations of deep-sea animals when studying their size. Buoyancy plays a crucial role in the lives of deep-sea creatures, particularly those of immense size. In the deep ocean, where pressure is immense, the ability to maintain neutral buoyancy is essential for survival. Many deep sea giants have evolved adaptations that allow them to effortlessly navigate their weightless world. One such adaptation is the reduction of dense skeletal structures. Many deep sea fish, for example, have skeletons made of cartilage rather than bone. Cartilage is lighter than bone, allowing these fish to conserve energy and maintain buoyancy. Another adaptation is the accumulation of low density fluids and tissues. The colossal squid, for instance, has a large body cavity filled with ammonia, a buoyant fluid that helps it maintain its position in the water column. Buoyancy is a critical factor that allows deep-sea giants to thrive in their environment. By reducing their weight and increasing their volume, these creatures can conserve energy, avoid predators, and efficiently search for food in the vast expanse of the deep sea. In the deep sea, where food is often scarce, energy conservation is paramount. Larger animals have a distinct advantage in this regard. Their large body size allows them to maintain a higher internal body temperature, which speeds up their metabolism and makes them more efficient at digesting food. This increased efficiency means that deep sea giants can survive on less food than their smaller counterparts. They can also go longer periods between meals, which is essential in an environment where prey can be few and far between. Furthermore, larger animals have a lower surface area to volume ratio than smaller animals. This means that they lose heat more slowly, which is beneficial in the cold temperatures of the deep sea. The energy efficiency of larger animals is a key factor that contributes to deep sea gigantism. By conserving energy and maximizing their food intake, these creatures can thrive in an environment that would be inhospitable to smaller organisms. Food availability plays a crucial role in shaping the size of deep-sea creatures. 
In some areas of the deep sea, such as hydrothermal vents and cold seeps, an abundance of food supports a thriving ecosystem. In these environments, gigantism is common as animals can grow large and reproduce successfully due to the plentiful food supply. However, in other areas of the deep sea, food is scarce. In these environments, animals have evolved different strategies for survival. Some, like the anglerfish, have developed elaborate lures to attract prey. Others, like the tripod fish, have adapted to a life of scavenging, patiently waiting for food to drift down from the surface. The availability of food can also influence the life cycle of deep sea creatures. Some species, such as the giant squid, exhibit boom and bust cycles, where populations explode during times of abundant food and then crash when food becomes scarce. The feast or famine nature of the deep sea has a profound impact on the size and ecology of its inhabitants. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for comprehending the evolution of deep sea gigantism. The deep sea is home to a fascinating array of gigantic creatures, each adapted to its unique environment. The colossal squid, for example, is the largest invertebrate on Earth, reaching estimated lengths of up to 46 feet. Its enormous size is thought to be an adaptation for hunting large prey, such as fish and other squid. The giant isopod is another impressive example of deep sea gigantism. These crustaceans, which resemble oversized pill bugs, can grow up to 19 inches long. They are scavengers that feed on dead animals that sink to the ocean floor. Other notable deep sea giants include the giant tube worm which can grow up to 8 feet long and thrives near hydrothermal vents. The Japanese spider crab, the largest arthropod by leg span, reaching up to 12 feet. These are just a few examples of the remarkable diversity of deep sea giants. Each species has evolved unique adaptations that allow it to thrive in the challenging conditions of the deep sea. The frigid temperatures of the deep sea have a profound impact on the metabolism of its inhabitants. In general, deep sea creatures have much slower metabolic rates than their shallow water counterparts. This is because the cold temperatures slow down chemical reactions including those involved in metabolism. Slow metabolism is a key adaptation for survival in the deep sea, where food is often scarce. By slowing down their metabolic rate, Deep sea creatures can conserve energy and survive for long periods without eating. However, slow metabolism also has its drawbacks. It can limit the growth rate and activity levels of deep sea creatures. Many deep sea animals are slow moving and have long lifespans, reflecting their low metabolic rates. Despite these limitations, the slow metabolism of deep sea creatures is a testament to their remarkable adaptations to one of the harshest environments on Earth. Section 8. Sponges, Titans of the Seabed Sponges, often overlooked in discussions of deep-sea gigantism, are titans in their own right. While not as mobile or visually striking as giant squid or isopods, these simple animals can reach astonishing sizes in the deep sea. Some deep-sea sponge species can grow to be several meters in diameter, forming massive colonies that provide habitat for a wide range of other creatures. The slow, steady growth of sponges allows them to persist for long periods with some individuals estimated to be hundreds or even thousands of years old. Their porous bodies filter vast quantities of water, extracting nutrients and playing a vital role in the deep-sea ecosystem. Unlike many deep-sea giants that rely on scavenging or predation, sponges are filter feeders, they capture microscopic organisms and organic particles from the water, converting them into biomass that supports the rest of the deep sea food web. The unassuming sponge often overlooked is a testament to the diversity of life in the deep and the important roles that even the simplest creatures play in maintaining the health of our oceans. Section 9 Polar Gigantism Life in the Cold Polar gigantism, a phenomenon observed in both the Arctic and Antarctic, is another example of how extreme environments can drive evolutionary change. In these frigid waters, certain species grow to sizes far exceeding their relatives in warmer regions. Bergman's rule, a principle in zoology, 
offers a potential explanation. It states that within a broadly distributed taxonomic clade, populations and species of larger size are found in colder environments, while populations and species of smaller size are found in warmer regions. This is thought to be related to heat conservation, as larger animals have a lower surface area to volume ratio, allowing them to retain heat more efficiently. One striking example of polar gigantism is the giant Antarctic sea spider, Colosendice gigantea. These marine arthropods with their spindly legs and small bodies can reach leg spans of over one foot, dwarfing their smaller relatives in warmer waters. The icy waters of the poles present unique challenges and opportunities for life. Polar gigantism stands as a testament to the adaptability of life and the incredible diversity that can arise under extreme conditions. Section 10. Islands of Change, Gigantism and Dwarfism Islands often isolated from mainland populations provide fascinating case studies in evolution. One striking phenomenon observed on islands is insular gigantism, where species evolved to be significantly larger than their mainland counterparts. This is thought to be driven by factors such as a lack of predators, reduced competition for resources, and the availability of new ecological niches. Conversely, insular dwarfism is the opposite phenomenon, where species evolve to be smaller than their mainland relatives. This is typically observed in environments with limited resources or where smaller size confers an advantage, such as increased agility or the ability to exploit smaller prey. Examples of insular gigantism include the Komodo dragon of Indonesia, the largest living lizard, and the extinct dodo of Mauritius, a flightless bird that grew to considerable size. Examples of insular dwarfism include the pygmy mammoths of the Channel Islands off the coast of California and the dwarf hippos of Madagascar. Islands with their unique evolutionary pressures offer valuable insights into the adaptability of life and the diverse forces that can shape the size and characteristics of species over time. Section 11, Deep Sea versus Island Gigantism, a comparison. While both deep sea gigantism and insular gigantism result in larger than average organisms, the driving forces behind these phenomena differ. In the deep sea, factors such as cold temperatures, high pressure, and limited food availability play significant roles. These conditions favor larger organisms that can conserve energy, withstand extreme pressure, and exploit scarce food resources. In contrast, insular gigantism is often driven by a lack of predators, reduced competition, and the availability of new ecological niches. With fewer predators to avoid and less competition for food and territory, island species can evolve to be larger, taking advantage of the unique opportunities their environment provides. Furthermore, the types of organisms that exhibit gigantism differ between these two environments. Deep sea gigantism is commonly observed in invertebrates such as squid, isopods, and sponges, while insular gigantism is more prevalent in vertebrates such as reptiles, birds, and mammals. Despite these differences, both deep sea gigantism and insular gigantism highlight the remarkable adaptability of life and the power of natural selection to shape the characteristics of organisms to suit their environment. Section 12. Conclusion. Protecting the Unseen World. The deep sea, a realm of mystery and wonder, holds a hidden world of giants. From colossal squid to giant isopods, these creatures challenge our understanding of life on Earth and remind us of the incredible diversity that exists in even the most extreme environments. Unraveling the mysteries of deep sea gigantism requires continued exploration, research, and most importantly, protection. The deep sea, once thought to be impervious to human influence, is increasingly threatened by pollution, climate change, and deep sea mining. It is our responsibility to ensure the survival of these unique ecosystems and the remarkable creatures that inhabit them. By understanding the delicate balance of the deep sea and advocating for its protection, we can ensure that future generations will continue to marvel at the giants of the deep.